Hell yeah. All right, how to hook up a uh, boost gauge to a uh, twin screw supercharger. Well, the, the VMP or the Roush. Hell motherfucking yeah, 75 millimeter pulley. Fucking 13 pounds of boost. Anyways, uh, in a stock motor, man, hanging out there, probably making around 700 rear wheel. Um, so right here, if you see that, it's these little things right there. You back them out, and uh, they look like this. Oh crap! I just had it. Oh, here it is. They look like this, and uh, yeah, you just back them out with the Allen, and then uh, you need an eighth inch adapter with a eighth inch nipple on it, or uh, I don't know the correct terms or whatever. But uh, yeah, and then it'll just uh, thread it right in there. And you use, uh, I use red Loctite. You can, I'm pretty sure you can use green also. Um, and if you don't believe me that Loctite will seal that or keep it from vacuum leaking, see that guy right here? It's uh, held on by, the gasket is actually green Loctite. And, uh, and who told me to use that? Yeah. So they're right. Um, anyways. So yeah, and then I just run it. Um, well, you get your vacuum source here and boost. And like I said, you just thread the little nipple in. It kind of, it looks like, where'd the other one go? Oh, here it is. It looks like this. Obviously, this is the one I made before because I took that thing out and then uh, I had to go somewhere. So I just ran to home people and pieces together well that one I had to order on uh, supplyhouse.com um, because Home Depot didn't have what I was looking for but I, if I remember right I think VMP supplies uh, one of these and I was like oh I'm never gonna run a boost gauge so I just put those little plugs in um, but yeah that's what it looks like but uh, it's a uh, it'll be a eighth of an inch to eighth of an inch threading so um and like i said i'll have proper names and a link in the description and then for um, your power source uh here's my little wire and i took it off uh, this guy if you have the vmp uh supercharger kit uh, roush should be a little harder to figure out um i installed it that's why i know this is a 12 volt source what it does is it's like spliced into a sensor in the back of the head and when you turn the ignition on it 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 sends a 12 volt signal to i think a relay and then they power on the fans well now it also powers on my boost gauge so it's all right dog so uh yeah that's how that works and then uh so and then you just Rode them all through where the uh, sound composer goes. Uh, dang it, I don't have any light down there. And then, uh, oops. And then there you go. But uh, with, you take the uh, gas pedal off, and behind the gas pedal is the, uh, there's like three 10 millimeter bolts that hold the gas pedal on. And the gas pedal is just plastic. There's three 10 millimeter bolts that hold it on. You pull it off. There's a sensor. You unplug it. And behind that's a sound composer. And on these kits, they're, they're just plugged off. So you just drill a hole through it and then route your stuff. And the cool thing is, is now that I, I did that, um, I can really hear the, the twin screw sound. So it, it, I'm really happy. I almost want to make it bigger, even just take that plug out because I love hearing that fucking twin screw. Well, there you go. Hopefully that... Oh, and the other thing I want to say is, like, don't try, like, grabbing all these other vacuum lines for a boost source because it's a supercharger. The top manifold or the twin screw is only going to read vacuum because the boost is underneath it, and that's why you got to grab it on the lower intake manifold. Problem is, there's, like, no fucking vacuum lines that come off the lower intake manifold. So that's why you got to do those little, undo the little plugs and then throw that fitting in there. All right, see you guys.